Hey guys, it's Sarah here from New England Junk Journals, and I want to continue on this um, project um, craft with me video, or follow along as I craft a video. <laughs> uh, and this is continuing the journal that I'm making for my mom. Um, so, you may be wondering how we got to this part. Um, I just filmed last night making this collage for the cover. Uh, so I took, um, a bunch of wallpaper that I had cut down. I probably won't use all of it, but I want to use some of it in this journal. Um, this is the cover made out of a cereal box. Um, but of course I don't want it to stay this way. So I am going to, and you'll see that the cereal box is much bigger, but what I'm gonna do is cut this in half and then kind of separate it enough so that it'll cover the edges and then cover the spine with fabric. So you're not gonna be able to see that anyway. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and then I was debating about what to do for a, like a title or a label for this to go on the front. And I found this really cute sticker that I glued onto some wallpaper and then stitched onto this beautiful embroidered trim. And I'm gonna trim this up or maybe like wrap the edges and sew it and then put it on the front and I think I did explain this in another video but I wanted to title it heart to heart because my mom is going to be going in um, for a heart transplant um, it's going to be a very long process um, if any of you guys have an experience with that you will know it's not easy um, so yeah, so the first, um, task I need to do is to cut this in half. And of course I have everything piled up on my trimmer over here. So as I can. And this measures, let's see here. Measures 14 inches. So we need to cut it seven. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna set it up against this because otherwise I'm just gonna be moving this all over the place. There we go. And let's see, I think I said I wanted this one for the cover. So it's just a matter of how much I want. Mark that. And then grab my scissors. Okay, so I'm shaking so much. To, it's like early in the morning. I haven't really had breakfast. I had my coffee though. <laughs> and I don't know if you guys have seen my other videos when that happens. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I don't know. It's, I don't think it's that I'm sensitive to the caffeine. I think it's just actually, you know what? Just to kind 
kind of help me out here so that this isn't shaking everywhere. I'm just gonna put down a couple pieces of double-sided tape so that this doesn't go flying everywhere while I'm trying to move, whoops, while I'm trying to not move things around. All right, that's gonna help. And then, Another thing that happened last night is I misplaced my bone folder. And let's see. Nope, don't see it. Oh well. I am going to also, once this is all glued down, I'm also going to go around um, the edge and stitch just like the front and back cover. Um, and I want to do that before I cover the inside because I just, I don't want that to show um, through to the inside. I want to cover all of that stitching. these corners I'm just going to yeah something like that that's all gonna get covered with fabric anyway. And again, I'm not going to be too worried about gluing the front down because that is going to be stitched down.
front. And then <coughs> when this is dry, I will run my stitch around. Uh, and then I will come back and show you what I'm gonna do for the spine. All right. All right, guys. Um, I just want to show you what I've done so far. I picked out my fabric for the spine. It's going to be this uh, nice fabric that I picked up recently. And then I've cut a piece for the inside. So that'll lay in there just like that. I'll glue it down and I will have enough fabric to fold over nicely. And then I picked my inside panels. Um, and this is just that um, divider. It's not even cardstock. I don't even know how to describe it. But it's inside a wallpaper sample book. Usually they have the dividers that are kind of a little bit stiff. And I figured that I would wrap this wallpaper around uh, the back of this. Um, and then I will actually probably sew it to make it look nice and then this will be the inside panel obviously it'll fit inside once it's all wrapped so I have one for each side like that so I'm gonna go ahead um, stop the camera again uh, glue and sew these and then um, come back to put this fabric actually you know what forget about that let's do this first while I'm here while I've got the camera rolling this has got to get done first anyway here's my dilemma do I use this fabric fabric fuse um, to put this in or do I just use my fabric tack I guess I'll just try to smooth it out really, really well so that the fabric tack doesn't show through. And I'm just going to mark a little. Looks like putting my pen. Um. between those um, that way I'm not getting um, glue further than it needs to be so it's going to be between those marks and I should probably sand this a little bit first
So I have my two pieces all um, backed and sewn around. And look how this one turned out. So nice. Look at those nice, clean, crisp corners. Uh -huh. And then this one. <laughs> Guys, look how close to the edge I had to sew. Um, yeah, when you're in a rush, you make mistakes, like not cutting the piece of paper um, the correct height. And because it was, you know, so close to the edge, I had to stitch with this side up so I could make sure that I tacked all of it down, which means that the messy stitching is on this side. So, I mean, it's not terrible. It's not terrible stitching. I'm gonna put it in the back so it's less noticeable and you won't see it every time uh, you open the book or mom won't see it every time she opens the book. So I just have to get these glued in here and then press them under a heavy book and leave them at least overnight to dry. Um, so yeah. Let me get this glue out. And I did kind of sand the back of these because it's very shiny, um, a very smooth divider. So yeah, just so that it's able to tack as much as possible. And yeah, I'm just gonna put a lot of glue on the back. I wanna make sure that this um, sticks and doesn't go anywhere. properly which is another thing I'm gonna have to really bend this a lot once it's all dried I really am gonna have to reinforce the um, the bend in the covers I'm double check that all these edges have plenty of glue. And I'm hoping too that the, and I'm pretty sure the Fabri-Tac, it's like a very, you know, um, stiff glue. I'm trying to read and say if it says it's flexible. I mean, technically, I guess it is flexible, but it will also add a lot of structure in between these pages. I mean, I've got, like, it's very stiff now. It's stiff enough to be a cover um, that I don't have to worry about being um, too floppy or anything like that. All right. Now, let's 
let's see here. I'm trying to see if this is gonna be big enough to weigh down my book. It's pretty heavy, but I need something wider. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and look and see what I can find for that. Thank you, guys. Um, next time when we come back, um, we'll see how this cover came out, and then we'll start working on the pages. So thank you, guys. See you later.